नमस्कार सब सब छात्र अनि छात्रा वर्गलाई म शैलेन्द्र प्रधान को तर्फब नानो अभिवादन रनलाइन क्लास में म स्वागत जनाद त आज म दसों श्रेणी को निमित्त यस कक्षा संचालन कर गई रहु तपिक आज को विषय स वेरिएसन त मैं लास्ट अनलाइन क्लास में यही वेरिएसन चैप्टर नहीं थे तो लास्ट अनलाइन क्लास में हमें चौदह नंबर कर आज म तिमी पंद्रह नंबर देखि कराऊ सो विदउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर वर्क ओके सो लेट लेट्स स्टार्ट द टपिक वेरिएसन सो विल स्टार्ट लेट अस वर्क आउट एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन सेम एक्सरसाइज पेज नंबर इज हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सेवेन ओके सेम बुक इज रेफर्ड आउट हिअर दैट इज गणित प्रकाश फर क्लास टेन बाई वेस्ट बेंगल बोर्ड अफ सेकेंडरी एजुकेशन तो आज हम यह पंद्रह नंबर सुरू कर गई रह गई रहो पंद्रह नंबर में के भादा फिर क्वेश्चन वॉल्यूम अफ स्पीयर स्पीयर सब भो स्पीयर के भादा फिर यू कैन टेक एन इक्जापल अफ ए फुटबल फुटबल के होता अब गोल होना तो फुटबल कसो सेप में इट इज द सेप अफ अ स्पीयर जैसे फुटबल भो अर्क भाई क्रिकेट बल यो टेनिस बल लन टेनिस को जो बल बल छो सब इट कम्स अंडर स्पीयर तो यह सब के स्पीयर को एटा इक्जापल हो ठीक है तो वॉल्यूम अफ अ स्पीयर भैरिज डाइरेक्टली विथ द क्यूब अफ लेंथ अफ इट्स रेडियस वॉल्यूम भाई के अब जस्ते एटा कि फुटबल को एट गोली लिं तो गोली भि हमें पानी हाल पूरा भर्ती हमें पानी हाल दिए के होता वॉल्यूम भर सलिड भर जा दैट इज अ सलिड थिंग तो वॉल्यूम अफ द स्पीयर भैग वॉल्यूम अफ दैट फुटबल भैग ठीक है वॉल्यूम बने भि सब भर ठीक है सो वॉल्यूम अफ अ स्पीयर भैर इज डाइरेक्टली विथ द क्यूब अफ द लेंथ अफ इट्स रेडियस तो स्पीयर को रेडियस हो यो स्पीयर को रेडियस जस्ते सर्कल को रेडियस हो सर्कल को रेडियस होने स्पीयर स्पीयर को रेडियस हो ठीक है तो क्वेश्चन ने क्या भाई यहाँ वॉल्यूम रेडियस में कस का रिले रिनेसन छल्यूम रेडियस में कस का संबंध छो दिन में वॉल्यूम अफ अ स्पीयर भैर इज डाइरेक्टली विथ द क्यूब अफ द लेंथ अफ इट्स रेडियस दैट इज वॉल्यूम अफ अ स्पीयर इज डाइरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल टू द क्यूब अफ द लेंथ अफ द रेडियस अफ दैट स्पीयर ओके एंड द सर्फेस एरिया अफ स्पीयर अच्छा यहाँ भाई सर्फेस एरिया अफ द स्पीयर अच्छा एटा फुटबल लिं तो तिमा को आँखा को अगड़ी भी नक्सा आँद फुटबल को है फुटबल कस याद तिमा है फुटबल को वरीपरी जो फुटबल को जो बाहरी भाग को वरीपरी को क्षेत्रफल अथवा एरिया हम के सर्फेस एरिया भाष That surface area of the sphere varies directly with the square of the length of the radius. So, if you say, by the co, back sir, if you football go, if you by the co back, let's say, I mean, what is it? Surfaces, I mean, what is it? If you say, sphere, for let's say, I mean, what is it? Surface area. The surface area of that sphere varies directly with the square of the length of its radius. Take sir. तो सर्फेस एरिया अफ द स्पीयर रेडियस अफ द स्पीयर में कस खाने रिनेसन रहे सर्फेस एरिया अफ द स्पीयर भैर इज डाइरेक्टली विथ द स्क्वायर अफ द रेडियस अफ द स्पीयर इज दैट क्लियर सो नाउ यू हेव टू प्रूव दैट हमें के प्रमाण कर भादा फिर वी हेव टू प्रूव दैट द स्क्वायर अफ द वॉल्यूम द स्पीयर भैर इज डाइरेक्टली विथ द क्यूब अफ इट्स सर्फेस एरिया तो हमें के प्रूव कर पड़ने रहे इसमें स्क्वायर अफ द वॉल्यूम द स्पीयर भैर इज डाइरेक्टली एज द क्यूब अफ इट्स सर्फेस एरिया ठीक है तो यहाँ हम तीनटा भेरिएबल आदि तीनटा भेरिएबल के भादा फिर स्पीयर को एट वॉल्यूम हो भेरिएबल अर्क रेडियस हो अर्क सर्फेस एरिया हो तो यहाँ हमें के एज्यूम कर सपोज कर मान लिखा ठीक है तो वॉल्यूम अफ द स्पीयर में हमें मान लिख रेडियस अफ द स्पीयर में हमें मान लिख अर्फेस एरिया अफ द स्पीयर में हमें सपोज कर भेरिएबल्स हमें सपोज कर ठीक है सो वॉल्यूम द स्पीयर भी सो लेट एस डू द सल्युशन नाउ लेट 
V V the volume of the sphere. Let V be the volume of the sphere. Let V be the volume of the sphere. Okay. Then write down. Let S be the surface area. Let S be the surface area and R be the radius and R be the radius of the sphere and R be the radius of the sphere. Right? Take sir. I mean, what is the resume? Yeah? Volume of the sphere, V suppose the Surface area of the sphere, A suppose the And the radius of the sphere, I mean, what is the resume? R suppose the resume. Take sir. So, question is, what is the sir? Volume of a sphere varies directly with the cube of the radius. The LI, I mean, mathematically, what is the Volume of the sphere varies as the cube of its radius. Volume of the sphere varies directly as the cube of its radius. So, by question, by question, volume V is directly proportional to the cube of the radius. Cube of the radius, when go R cube. Take sir. Also, now we have to do what यो proportional sign लाइन से आए मिले equality में change गर नहीं पर्स तो equality में change गरने में तर सब लाए था सा अब तो यो proportional sign लाए equality में लादा बरी यो right hand side आए मी कुले उड़ा constant ले multiply कर सो therefore v is equal to kr cube so within bracket you have to write where k is a constant of variation where k is a constant of variation so this is one of the equations that is the relation between v and r that is v is equal to k r cube so i think you have understood it so what is the second given condition here the second given condition here is the surface of the sphere varies the surface area of the sphere varies directly with the square of the length of the radius that is you don't say surface area of the sphere go that surface area of the sphere varies directly as the square of the length of the radius of the sphere so mathematically how will you write it surface area here is s again again by question you can write surface area s of the sphere varies directly as the square varies as as the square of the length of the radius that is S is proportional to R square. Is that clear to all of you? So now let us also simplify it. Now proportional sign la amile equality ma lada very right hand side la amile k le k orda kuni orda constant le multiply karso. Thora yeh abo very k lekhnu udai na. Ori constant lekhnu. You can write m also. So or S is equal to m R square, where where m is a constant of variation where m is a constant of variation so i think you have understood it so now what is to be proved amelia k prove what was that we have to prove that the square of the volume of the sphere varies directly with the cube of the surface area that means you have to prove that the square of the volume of the sphere varies directly with the cube of its surface area. That means you have to prove that V square proportional to S cube. Okay. So now we know the first relation. What is the first relation here? V is equal to KR cube. V is equal to what? It is KR cube. Okay. So now, so let us square both the sides because you have to prove the square of the volume of the sphere. So now, V is equal to KR cube. V is equal to KR cube. Okay. So let us square both the sides because you have to prove the square of the volume of the sphere. Square of the volume of the sphere. Why are we squaring both the sides here? Because you have to prove that the square of the volume of the sphere varies directly with the cube of its surface area. So let us square both the sides here. So squaring both the sides squaring both the sides so squaring both the sides what do we get b square is equal to kr cube whole square 
So is that clear to all of you? So why are we squaring both the sides? Because we have to prove that the square of the volume of the sphere varies directly as the cube of the surface area. Okay. Now let us simplify it further. So V square is equal to K square R to the power 6. Now since you have to prove the relation between volume and surface area. So let us find out the value of radius that is R to the power 6 or what is R to the power 6 is equal to V square divided by K square. Is that clear? So let us mark it as number 1. Okay. Uh, so now what will you do with this S is equal to MR square? Again S is equal to MR square. So now what will you do with this equation S is equal to MR square? You have to cube both the sides because you have to prove that the square of the volume of the sphere varies directly with the cube of its surface area. This surface area should be cubed. S cube should be there. So here I am also cubing both the sides because we need S cube, isn't it? So therefore cubing both the sides. Therefore cubing both the sides. So what do we get? S cube is equal to MR square whole cube. Right? So let us simplify it further now. Let us simplify it further. Therefore, S cube is equal to, this is also whole cube, MR square whole cube. Now this power 3 is for both M as well as R square. So what do we get? M cube, M cube R to the power 6. So now from here also, let us find out the value for R to the power 6. Or this is R to the power 6 is equal to S cube divided by M cube. Let us mark it as number 2. Okay. So now in this case, in number 1 we have got the relation between R and V. And in number 2 we get the relation between R and S. Both are the values of R to the power 6. If left hand sides are equal, here R to the power 6, there is also R to the power 6. So if left hand sides are equal, right hand sides must be equal. So from 1 and 2, what can we write? V square by K square is equal to S cube upon M cube. So you number 1 or number 2, I will keep the hue. Here R to the power 6 value. You number 2, I R to the power 6 value. So you devere side barabar chavane. You dine side pani ki uncha barabare uncha. So from 1 and 2, what can you write? V square by K square is equal to S cube by M cube. So from 1 and 2, we have from 1 and 2 comma we have so what do we have from 1 and 2 so therefore v square by k square is equal to s cube divided by m cube so i think you have understood it now this k square by and uh, this k square and m cube are constant okay so or v square is equal to k square divided by m cube into s cube and you know that k and m are both constant so what can you say about that expression k square by m cube that is also constant right so now therefore v square is equal to constant into s cube because k square by m cube is constant both since both k and m are constant so k square by m cube is also constant that's why instead of k square by m cube we have written here constant or v square now what is the method now this is equal to constant can be replaced by proportional sign s cube so hence it is proved isn't it so what is this v square proportional to s cube that is the square of the volume of the sphere varies directly with the cube of the surface area of the sphere is that clear so we have proved it hence hence the square of the volume of the sphere of the volume 
of the sphere varies directly varies directly with the cube with the cube of its surface area of its surface area so it is proved of its surface area means surface area of the sphere okay so we have proved the required result okay so you can copy it i think you have understood it so you can copy it we'll do the next question now So, Abahami, question number 16 gonna go ahead and So, this is very short answer type question. That is, Abahami, objective type of question gonna go ahead and So, your objective type of question, each question carries only one mark. You say multiple choice question, ma pani answer, fill in the blanks, ma pani unusaksa, or that right, true or false, ma pani unusaksa. So, this means that every question is a max of matra. So, this type of question is known as very short answer type question, which carries only one mark. So, let us do multiple choice question. MCQ, when it is Q, multiple choice question. When it is see, if you question, you have to choose the correct one. If you have to choose the correct one, you have to choose the correct answer. So, now, question number one mark is. If x is proportional to 1 upon y, x is proportional to 1 upon y, but I keep you. x is inversely proportional to y. Kilo one upon y the center. x increase by y decrease. X decrease x decrease by y keeps increase. X got you when y bought x body when y got sir. So it is given that x is proportional to 1 upon y, then which is the correct option out here? Whether it is A, X is equal to 1 upon Y, B is, B is Y is equal to 1 upon X, C, X, Y is equal to 1, and D, X, Y is equal to non-zero constant. Okay? So now, what is given here? Here given is X proportional to 1 upon Y. So I will tell you that your proportional sign is equal to change. Or X is equal to K into 1 upon Y. What is this K? You can't even say non-zero constant. You zero unu buy na. Zero bani your right hand side is zero. Why na? Who day na? Okay na. So this case should be a non-zero constant, where k is a zero unu buy na. Take our non-zero constant like you, where k is a non-zero constant of variation, or you may write only where k is a non-zero constant also. So if you do cross multiplication, what do we get? X, Y is equal to K, isn't it? So X, Y is equal to K, right? So X is equal to K upon Y, when you go cross multiply, X, Y is equal to K. Is that clear to all of you? So X, Y is equal to non-zero constant. That is your correct option. So which is the correct option here? It is D. Not A, not B, not C, but it is D. So D is the correct answer. So write down the answer as D X Y is equal to non-zero constant. That is X Y is equal to non-zero constant is correct. Is correct. So I think you have understood it. So let's do the next part that is number two. If X is proportional to Y, what is meant by it? x and y are in direct variation that is when x increases y also increases if x decreases y also decreases right then which is the correct option out here whether it is a b c or d okay so here also what is given here now your given is x is proportional to y so you have to convert this proportional sign into equality sign or x is equal to k into y where k is a constant of variation, right? Where k is a, uh, you may write non-zero or constant. You may write where k is a non-zero constant or simply constant of variation. Where k is a constant of variation. Since here is squaring both the sides, 
because you have to get either x square x cube x or x square isn't it in a there is x square b there is x cube c is x and d is x square right so squaring both the sides what do we get if you square both the sides here you have to square both the sides here x whole square is equal to ky whole square that is x square is equal to k square y square right so since k is constant this k square is also constant so this is equal to constant can be replaced by proportional sign that is x square proportional to y square so which is the correct option out here whether it is a b c or d it is d is the correct option so write down so d x square proportional to y square is correct so x square is proportional to y square is correct so i think you have understood it so now you can copy it we'll do the next question so abhami question number 16 ko a ko number 5 garna gai raheka chhau question is yes prakar le cha if y minus z is proportional to 1 upon x z minus x proportional to 1 upon y and x minus y proportional to 1 upon z ta yesma jun chai x y z deko cha tyo sabai variable ho variable bhaneko jun chai chai change huncha telai hami ke bhancha variable jastai yaha x y z change huncha bhanera deko cha so x y and z are the variables so you have to uh, find out the sum of the three variation constant you have to find out the sum of the three variation constant and sum of the three variation constant is given out here a b c and d which is the correct option sum of the three variation constant is either it is 0 or 1 or minus 1 or 2 you have to find it okay so let us simplify the given so the solution is so here given is y minus z proportional to 1 upon x अब यो proportional sign ना है मिली के मालानु पर सा is equal to मालानु पर यो और y minus z is equal to k into 1 upon x within bracket where k is a constant of variation where k is a constant of variation is that clear to all of you so now let us cross multiply it y minus z upon 1 below y minus z there is 1 okay so now cross multiply what do we get k is equal to cross multiply by x here x y minus z x so that is we have got the value for the constant of variation k which is equal to x y minus z x so again what is the second relation out here similarly you can simplify the second one so what is the second here z minus x proportional to 1 upon y or z minus x let us write it as m so where m is a constant of variation where m is a constant of variation where m is a constant of variation so here also below z minus x there is one so now cross multiply by y you can do cross multiplication or this is yz minus xy is equal to m right or you may write m is equal to this is yz minus xy so we have got the value for m similarly simplify the third given relation here again what is the third relation now what is the third relation out here this is x minus y proportional to 1 upon z x minus y proportional to 1 upon z or x minus y is equal let us write it let us write the constant of variation here as n so n into 1 upon z right we have used here k we have used here m now we have used here n where n is a constant of variation where n is a constant of 
variation where n is a constant of variation so i think you have understood it okay uh, now what will you do uh, you have to get the value for n here also so you can do cross multiplication below x minus y there is one so if you cross multiply it what do we get that is n is equal to cross multiply by z zx minus yz so n is equal to you can do cross multiplication be, below x minus y there is one so x minus y upon one is equal to n upon z so if you cross multiply it you will get n is equal to zx minus yz zx minus yz is that clear now you have to find out the sum of the three variation constant that means you have to find out the summation of three variation constant that is k plus m plus n right so let us write here therefore k plus m plus n so which is the correct option a b c or d what is the sum of the three variation constant so what is k out here x y minus z x plus what is the value for m what is m it is y z minus x y plus what is the value for n z x minus y z z x minus y z right so now here you can cancel x y minus x y minus z x plus z x plus y z minus y z which is equal to zero that is what is the sum of the three variation constant is equal to zero okay so which is the correct option out here that is a so number a zero is correct so this is very very important question you can copy it so now we'll do the next question now so aba hami question number 16 b number 1 garna gai raheka chhau the question is this is also very short answer type question so let us write whether the following statements are true or false. You don't say the statements are you say it's a lot of what whether it is true or false. You have to check it. Okay. So question number one is if y is proportional to one upon x, then y upon x is equal to non zero constant. So whether it is true or false, you have to check it. So what is given here? Here given is y proportional to 1 upon x. So let us change this proportional sign into equality sign. Your proportional sign like equality math change gonna have a method. Cha. So y is equal to your right hand side. I mean k le multiply gar So k into 1 upon x. So where k is a non-zero constant of variation. Where k is a non-zero constant constant of variation is that clear to all of you so where k is a non-zero constant of variation okay so now in this case you do cross multiplication you can cross multiply it isn't it so therefore x y is equal to k that is if you do cross multiplication then only you will get x y is equal to k but we are not getting y by x out here so product of x y is equal to k that is x y should be non-zero constant x y should be non-zero constant but in the question it is given that y by x should be non-zero constant so is the statement true or false the statement is false so therefore the statement therefore the statement is false is that clear to all of you so this question is done <coughs> so you can copy it so now we'll do the next question that is uh, question number two so i think you have understood uh, question number one so let's do question number two now it is given if x proportional to z and <coughs> y proportional to z then x y proportional to z so this is the theorem on joint variation okay so now what we'll do here is this z z is on the right hand side here is also z there is also z okay 
so let us write this z on the left hand side so if you have x proportional to z then you may write z proportional to x again if you have y proportional to z you may write z proportional to y the left go right man right go left man like so so take sir you know the theorem on joint variation if a is proportional to b and a is proportional to c then a is proportional to bc jointly similarly here also you can write if z is proportional to x and z is proportional to y therefore z proportional to x y jointly the abo s ma pani hami right side ko left side ma left side ko right side ma likhchu ठीक सा यो राइट साइड लाइन मिले लेफ्ट साइड में लेकिन ऊपर सा लेफ्ट साइड लाइन में क्या मिलेगा सो राइट साइड में लेकिन सो तो और हाउ मच इज़ इट एक्स वाई इज़ प्रोपोर्शनल टू जेड सो दिस इज़ द करेक्ट दिस इज़ द करेक्ट वन रिलेशन एक्स वाई प्रोपोर्शनल टू जेड सो दैट इज़ इफ एक्स इज़ प्रोपोर्शनल टू जेड एंड the statement so therefore the statement is true so okay so i think uh, you have understood it so you can copy it now i will give you the homework so first you copy it So now, uh, these are your homework. That is from very short answer type question. Use it in your home. So, first of all, you have to revision. Okay, sir? Then you have to ask this question. So, from 16, very short answer type question. Uh, that is from multiple choice question. Okay? So, these are your homework. Question number 3 is, number 1 ko 3. Hai. So, A, sorry, A ko number 3. A number 3. If x is proportional to y and it is given that y is equal to 8 when x is equal to 2, if y is equal to 16, then the value of x is which is the correct option, whether it is 2, 4, 6, or 8. You have to choose the correct option from this question number 3. Okay. The similar question is there for number 4. If x is proportional to y square and y is equal to 4 when x is equal to 8, and if x is equal to 32, then the value of y is which is the correct option, whether it is 4. 8, 16, and 32. Okay? So, these are your homework. So, this much is for today. The other thing is, I have a problem with you. You have to go to the next one. I revision to go the next online class. I have to type of objective type of question. Okay? So, you can copy it.